Do you have any movement on the terms at all? So, so the guy has an offer for two million. I think all the pluses are, you know, far away the, the negative. Look, I know there could be some error in there, but at two four, we're at a six and a half. Two, two. Uh, good morning guys, it is week three. This is Tuesday morning. So an update on the off-market Georgia deal. We do have an agreement on price, but uh, there's a little bit of a negotiation going on with seller financing terms. Today I do have a call for that at about 12.30 Eastern time. I'll let you guys listen in to us conference calling in the buyers with the sellers. Aside from that, I do have just general follow-ups and cold calling as usual, so. <clears throat> hey man. Hey, Armand. What's up, my man? I'll dial up Jay, too, and then I'll hit the seller. Jay, I uh, I got Walker on the other line. We're supposed to call this seller. I'm yeah, I'll patch you in now. Hey, just to give you guys a heads up, I'll introduce you guys. The seller's a rural guy. He was kind of in a shit mood when we talked about the terms for the seller financing yesterday. Just to give you guys a heads up, he might be a little argumentative, so to speak. Hello? So I have the buyers that sent us the offer on the other line. You mind if I patch him in? Okay. All right, so who I got on the line is Walker and Jay. They're with Open Door Capital. We really want to just do the call to kind of work through the terms of the offer and see what your concerns were with it and what you want changed. And we figure it'd just be easier to talk direct. Well, that's right. Yeah. Hey, uh, this is Walker Meadows. How you doing? I'm fine. Good. A little bit of background on our group. We're based out of, out of Atlanta. I actually grew up in middle Georgia, about an hour south of Macon. And we basically buy a mobile home park all across the U.S. Um, so we own almost 2,000 pads across 10 states or so. And yeah, our mom brought, brought your park to us after you guys have connected. And um, we're definitely interested in it. Um, I, know, I know he's already sent over one of our offers to you. That you've kind of reviewed so just want to kind of hop on the phone and, and learn a little bit more about the park and your situation there and, and see if we can make something work well my situation right now is i'm scared to death of the new capital gains taxes that uh biden is talking about putting on and i just noticed where forbes had lumber prices up over 300 percent i've kind of got to stick to what we offered it first. What are your kind of ideal financing terms? Just just so we're kind of on the same page. Uh, Ed, last time we spoke, we had just, I'll read off some terms I have in my notes. We had um 30% down payment, a five-year term, possibly, and you were open to a couple years of interest only. But we had the 4.5% interest rate and then the 20-year AM, like you're mentioning now. Basically, the deal, if, if you run the numbers based on traditional debt, it pencils out somewhere around 3.4 to $3.5 million. Um, and so we're stretching, you know, considerably to try to hit that 4.15 number. And the only way we can do that is, is if the, the debt terms are substantially better than what we could get at a, you know, a traditional lender. So what are, what are your plans for it if, if you can't get a price in these terms? We're going to, we're going to start trying to infill the, you know, empty lots and do some, uh, renovations and uh, try to go up on the, uh, on the grand even more. Do you have any movement on the terms at all, or, or you're, pr you're pretty firm where you're at? I'm firm. I, I just don't know if we'll be able to. We could probably hit those terms, but have to come down on price or, or stick at that price, but I have to... Uh, well, I understand. Definitely appreciate you hopping on the phone, man. Um, and then, you know, definitely hold on to our offer as well. If, if down the road you ever get tired of dealing with the park or whatever, you know, okay. it, it'll always be valid, you know, and feel free to give us a ring. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so I'm here eating lunch with the boys, but um, I did want to run over one quick thing to update you guys on Lighthouse Oaks. So we ran into an issue with due diligence. We got to extend the due diligence uh, timeline 22 days, and the seller didn't want to do that. So uh, we're working through that, but it's kind of a funny thing to bring up that smaller deals literally take way more effort than a larger deal does. One of the issues that we did run into was the title company still needed the park on home titles too. They will have all the documents by either tomorrow morning or the next day. And then uh, we can get the title done and due diligence. Hopefully we can shorten it from like 22 days to 10 days. And that should set a closing probably sometime middle to end of May. management costs over a, you know, a bigger portfolio in a, a very small area.
you know, in a few years, if he wants to, he could sell a pretty decent portfolio in that one market. All right, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. So Christian here is our new junior analyst. I cold called a guy in Ohio this morning. He has an offer out for $2 million from a group that's local. We know the guy who owns the only other three parks in town besides that $2 million offer he got. We're thinking it's probably worth, based off the info he gave us, in probably the 2 to 2-2 two, two range. Hopefully more, so we're going to see if we can get that in touch with the guy that we know. Probably get him to agree to a fee of probably fifty to 100000 and lock it up for maybe two one or two two if possible. Again, this happens a lot. This is like the quick slamming of deals, but seller is on the fence about selling because his wife doesn't want to let it go and wants to pass it down to the kids. But the seller, he wants to get rid of it because he's just old and tired of managing the park and everything. So, see what happens. Hey, Steve, it's Armand with Other Streets. How you doing? Good. So I've talked to you probably two or three times over the last year. I got this one seller I've been talking to that he his parks within 30 minutes of two of your parks um, in Ohio. Was there a park in you're looking at? I know the guy mentioned that he had an offer from another group and it's between you and one guy. So either that guy sent the offer or you did. I don't know if it's something you looked at. There were a couple we were looking at. Um, can you tell me what park it is? I'll tell you. I can't remember. Uh, How many sites is it? 84 sites and five apartments. Uh, they're all lot rentals except three vacant park on homes. His lot rents that he's bringing in are 225 I don't believe my office is. If we, yeah, we, we're not. 30 minutes within uh yeah it's not even th it's honestly it's i was just trying to be vague with 30 because i want you to guess the part i was a broker myself yeah you know, 20 years ago so no i we've done nothing but protect anybody that brings us lead so, so the guy has an offer for two million he wants to sell but his wife is is kind of putting a stop to that he's still on the fence i think he could be pushed over the edge but how about i just shoot you over the underwriting we have and then i think the best plan of action on this let's say you do want to pursue it i think getting an loi in the guy's hand uh, i wouldn't spend so too much kind of a this is kind of an off-market deal that you reach the sellers telling you hey i've got this other two million dollar offer but we're hesitant about selling correct okay so you got a minute on you're saying there's like three or four in mobile home inventory the rest are Owner-occupied. Yeah, so three park on homes. I mean, that'd be easy to just give away. Uh, he is about to have two of them filled up in the next month, he said. And then the other one just needs a light rehab. Do you have, like, actuals or P&Ls and rent rolls? No, the guy said he's going to send those over to me today. I don't know how quick he's going to do that. He's not a uh, tech-savvy kind of guy. I don't know if he, we should write you an LOI or try and get some actual financials first. And I do want to see if the guy's willing to pay us a commission. Yeah. Just to make that easier or if he's at least willing to roll it into the purchase price. So let me figure all that out. I'll talk to Enon now and see what he wants to do. And then how about I just give you a call back in the next hour or so. You call me back and I'm going to put you in touch with uh, Dan. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's your acquisition or. The... You've talked to him before. Yeah, once or twice. Yeah, so we, um, I'll tell you what we're coming up with. Well, yeah, so he's grossing. We're coming out with 272. We got our expenses at 117 with our assumptions. Um, he is on city utility and we're coming up with a price at 22. Probably could stretch it to 24, but I mean, I'm trying to just get a deal done. I do know we need to be north of two after our fee. And he, you know, so he must meter the water then. Yeah, that's uh, individually metered. The five apartment units, he includes the water, but everyone else is metered as far as the mobile home lots. And he says he recaptures 95% of it and his water bill is usually 300 bucks a month after that. My only reservation, if anything, and I don't think it's even a big a reservation, is the, you know, the age and it's it's a very tight, a lot of, I think a lot of the homes are metal, metal versus vinyl shingle. Yeah, so it might be um, hard to bring in anything new. Yeah, lot size restrictions, things like that. But um, that, you know, it's clean, we're in the area and all that. So I, I think all the pluses, are, you know, far away the... The negatives. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get with Enon and call this um, seller back now, and I'll get back to you probably in the next thirty minutes or an hour. Okay. All right. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Oh my. Ooh, that'd be tight, dude. We got some shit under contract yeah. in, in like an hour like this. Got a mobile home park for sale about 30 minutes away from Cabin Creek. I uh, didn't know if he'd be interested in taking a look at it. Give me a call back when you get the chance, 561. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Oh, been hey, my name's Armand Violi. I'm Chandler Davis. 
Hey, Bill, how's it going? This is uh, Armand Violi. Very good, how are you? Good, so I'm a mobile home park broker. I got a 109 lot park for sale right in Piney Green, about 45 minutes away from your park. I didn't know if you're in the market to buy. Yeah, the um, so only thing I got going on that you guys might be interested in, I don't know if you guys go down to Georgia at all, but um, yeah, I got a uh, about 130 spaces. If, if you want, I can shoot you the package, it, it's it's pretty aggressively priced, but we're only showing it to a few guys. But I figured since you call, I didn't know if you I didn't yeah, have you guys marked down for Georgia. Yeah, shoot it, shoot it over to our email. Oh, we were in just you know, we were in Parkersburg. When was that, April? Uh, that was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, we took up through that one park. Actually, not bad. Unfortunately, it does flood, though. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think the uh, city is letting, they're not letting them bring in homes to those lots that flood. We stopped working on it because it, it seems like an unsellable deal. You, you got anything else in, in West Virginia, Virginia? Uh, not at the moment. Um, I'm calling Virginia a lot right now, though, so I'd expect something soon. But yeah, the, the I'll send you guys the Georgia thing. Yeah, just shoot, shoot it over real quick. I saw you're doing like a, a broker call now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Actually, fun fact, I'm recording actually right now at this call. Yeah, I usually block out people. People's uh, voices and names and stuff, but I'm actually recording right now. Oh, cool! Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. I don't think there's been much, uh, not much on that front. You always hear about other, 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 you know, podcasts and stuff like that. But this is kind of cool. Yeah, I was thinking no one's doing really a day in the life, and there's a bunch of like residential agents and brokers doing stuff like that. But I figured no one in commercial real estate, so might as well throw something together. The guy who runs it, the husband, he wants to sell for sure. His wife is against it because she wants him to pass it down to the kids. Now, they got a $2 million offer okay. from the people who own a park right next to Steve and Dan's. Okay. Who's that? Just a private group? It's a guy you've talked to. It's an Asian dude who goes by the name <laughs> He's out of San Diego. Okay. But you talked to him in like 2015 or okay. 2016. All right. Hey, you know. What's up, dude? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, man. Hey, I'm just, I'm sitting here with Armin, and we were talking about, um... <clears throat> the deal that you guys were looking at in Ohio. Here's what I will tell you, and I'm just gonna give you my opinion. I would not wait to write an offer, and the reason why is, is I know we're waiting on numbers, but you know sometimes they take offers before we get numbers and you just don't know the rationale, and everyone out there is trying to tie shit up right now. So my, right. my point in saying that is, is you may be a day late and a dollar short if you take that route. I don't know. Everything that we're seeing, dude, is just flying off the shelves. We literally making two or three phone calls, it's going under contract, I mean, it's just, there's no time to wait. But I understand, I understand what you're saying. At 2 million, we're at a 773. And that's, look, I know there could be some error in there, but at 2.4, we're at a six and a half. So there, there's some room, in my opinion, in case something's a little off. I would not hesitate. Uh, okay, so what would you, you he has an offer on the table at exactly 2 million? Yeah. That's what he said to Armin, yes. So I would, I would, if I were you, I would come, I mean, depending on where you're comfortable, we're going to need a fee on top of that. Do you want to do a full purchase agreement or just a letter of intent? I think a letter of intent. Yeah. Would motivate him to get. I think a letter of intent would motivate him. Um, okay. But then, you know, once we talk to him about it, we can be we can be right behind that. I just think for timing, let's do a letter of intent because he's a little bit of a simple dude. So I think something simpler would be more enticing right off the bat. Okay. I mean, usually our purchase agreements are only like four or five pages long. Then anyway, then so. then do a purchase agreement. Okay. Yeah, I just I didn't know if you had a sixty-seven page purchase agreement you're gonna send no, me. I hate those stupid okay, I, then 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 you're way ahead of the curve. We'll start working on something. Okay, any questions? Call us. Will do. Bye. Yeah, we're very professional. <laughs> yeah, you're here at the streets office head, headquarters. Yeah, Put that in the blog, dude. <laughs> Christian, I know you want one, man. I know you're a heavy drinker. No, 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 no. <laughs> No influence. No, no peer pressure. No influence in Christian. I'm protecting. I'm, 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 I'm protecting. Come on, Christian. I'm, I'm I know protect, you want one. I'm protecting. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, prote I'm protecting Christian. Well, it hurts when it's in I your. Like it hurts when it's in your bladder. Yeah, yeah Christian's taking one too. Like, it hey. All right, Christian, my bottoms up. Let's go, baby. Again, Thursday at four. I think we're ready to go. No, that's all you. All right. Cheers, cheers. Spicing things up. All right, back to work. Hello. Hey, Richard, it's it's Enon and Armin and Cheyenne. How are you? How are you doing? Good. Hey, just real quick on these titles. We need to call the buyer and let the buyer know you have one title and you don't have the other titles. And, uh, okay, I, I will, uh, I'll, I'll write up a list of what I know on that and I'll um, send that to you. Okay, hey, I appreciate it. Richard, one more thing. Were you able to get the DocuSign signed for the, um, the one form for the title? I, I didn't ever get it. We, we resent it yesterday. Um, it should be somewhere towards the top of your inbox. Okay. 
It might be in the spam because DocuSign a lot of times goes to the spam or trash. Che Cheyenne's going to resend it in five minutes, so it's coming at you right now just so you have it at the top of your box. Well, I appreciate the call. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you, Richard. You too. Bye. Bye, -bye. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars.